And yo, hand me my Moscato. I'm about to get real bougie up in here. That old man's strength strikes again. Rumor has it Kanye West put Big Sean flat on his ass after his Drink Champs interview went viral over the weekend. Big Sean exposed that Kanye West stole millions of dollars from him and he was too afraid to ask Kanye West for his money back. A lot of people are wondering, why is it that he's telling the whole world about his financial issues, but he had plenty of opportunities to tell Kanye West about his missing money to his face. And that's because Kanye West been looking real clumpish lately. Oh Ooh, he fat as fuck. He got that big old head with them big old shoulders, Ain't nothing big about Big Sean. Pause. Yeah, I know what I'm trying to say. He not as big as Kanye West. Pause, nigga. You know what? Y'all need to get your head out the gutter and hit that cash app, dollar sign Sean Blaze Jacks. Like I told y'all, we about to be getting real bougie up in here. Also, we're going to be talking about Lil Dirk proposing to his longtime girlfriend, India, on stage. She's not afraid to get married to him because she's definitely not afraid to get shot in the ass. Oh she already got them ass shots. She about them ass shots, them buck shots, them back shots. Remember when Lil Dirk had that home evasion and she was shooting at the ops? She already proved to y'all she ain't afraid to throw it back. Yeah, she a freak, cuz. Y'all already know she be busting that thing for Dirk. That's why he gonna marry her nasty ass. Here's a fun fact about India that a lot of people didn't know. Hold on, let me sip this Moscato. You bougie bastard. We don't do that Hennessy no more, cause y'all ghetto bitches don't know how to act. Oh my goodness. But listen at this fun fact about India, yeah. According to the people that know her, she ain't nothing but a little kid at heart. Back in the day, she was a chubby girl like the three little bears. But nowadays, she get married to Goldilocks. That pretty motherfucker. His head longer than hers. You better not ever go to jail. When they get married, the only thing I can see them fighting over is the mirror. And she gonna beat his tail. One thing for sure, Lil Dirk got himself a ride or die for real. We're also gonna be talking about Doja Cat's latest racist rants exposed on IG, yeah. Y'all gave her a pass the first couple of times she went off on a racist rant against her own fans. But this time, I don't care how inferior you may feel, you will not be rocking with Doja Cat after this video. Because she allegedly said some very unflattering things about some very crunchy black celebrities in Hollywood. She said Viola Davis looked like one of the pigs from Angry Birds. She also said Kanye West looked like Sherman Clump from the side. She basically said all black people be musty, but I know y'all don't give a damn because she light skinned and she pretty looking. And she got that big old booty. Oh my I ain't even gonna hold ya. That thing be sitting up like some newborn babies, but that don't give her the right to be disrespecting black people because she full of that cream. Huh? Y'all gotta stay tuned because I got a whole lot of bougie news for y'all. But before we get into that, I'm gonna need y'all to do me a favor and hit that like button and subscribe to the channel, man. Also, hit that notification button, yeah? Don't forget to show me some love because y'all lie. You ever do is show y'all some love. You understand me? Man, shut your lame ass off. I told y'all to keep it down back there. I'm over here trying to be bougie. Man, you ain't bougie. Uh, yeah, whatever, yo. Anyways, let's get back into this news, yeah? Big Sean is literally thinking about changing his name to Big Baby. He needs to change it to Big Pussy. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, if he afraid to talk to Kanye West, he ain't even got no business holding no microphone. Allegedly, Kanye West caught up with the young rapper and confronted him about all of the statements he made on Drink Champs with Noriega when he was super duper drunk. And when Big Sean tried to backtrack and say he ain't say none of that, Kanye West looked at the videotape with him. Big Sean ain't know what to say. And that's when Kanye West allegedly gave him that jack slap. With shaming all over his hands. Big Sean is just a big pawn in a big game. And on top of all that, he be treating Kanye like he big daddy. Oh, I think they're lovers. They gotta be. Because it's not like Big Sean didn't know that he was getting wrong. He's been well aware for years that Kanye West has been stealing money from him, but he never said nothing to Kanye. So if Yeezy done stole millions of dollars from Big Sean, what make y'all think 
he ain't snatched that man cookies. He might as well stop rapping and get a job at Makita's. Well, I know he gonna have to figure something out because closed mouths don't get fed. Well, somebody put something in his mouth. Jack get show off like baby judo. Oh my goodness. They gotta have some type of relationship going on behind the scenes. How soft do you have to be to get punked by Kanye West? I mean, really, there was no real gangster signing good music. They had John Legend, Carmen, Pusha T. The whole roster was full of softies. And I know y'all gonna be talking about Pusha T was a real one, but first he was working with Pharrell. Ain't nothing street about Pharrell. Then you signed to Kanye West. Birds of a feather flock together. And he did that song with Bird, man. He showed Jay, what was it? What happened to that boy? Yeah, yeah, bird, that too. I just don't see how they let Kanye West be their dominatrix. But now that Detroit rapper Big Meech is on his way home from jail, it's looking like Big Sean will most likely start receiving payments from Kanye West by the year 2050. They're gonna be dead then. Also, yeah, Big Sean allegedly revealed that he witnessed some horrifying, unthinkable acts between Kim Kardashian and Kanye West. And we gonna get back to that in a minute. I'm gonna throw some butter on that and put that on the back burner. But right now we gotta talk about Lil Jerk tying that knot and I ain't talking about his dreadlocks. Oh my goodness. I'm talking about him tying the knot with his cute booty girlfriend whom already have kids and baby fathers of her own. And best believe, ain't nothing going on but the rent with this sister. She worked at the Piggly Wiggly before she met Lil Jerk. And I'm not talking about the grocery store, I'm talking about the strip club. Oh, she got that clapper. I ain't even going front. India look good with that makeup. But when India take that makeup off, she looks just like India Irie. Oh my goodness. With so many rappers out here dying every day to street violence, I would advise any female that's dating a rapper to marry him ASAP. Because once he get popped, all that money will go straight to you. And the rest of their baby mamas ain't gonna be able to do nothing but sit up there and look stupid and you gonna be able to send your kids to private schools and her kids gonna be sitting in special ed eating pork and beans. So once again, for all y'all ladies out there, if you dating a rapper, marry him ASAP. And they really need to change the vows for these rappers. Instead of till death do us part, they need to change it till after my album release party. Cause that's when most of these dudes be getting got. They better learn how to use an oven. Y'all be wanting these rappers to buy you this and buy you that, but they wound up getting shot, going to get some food. How come you ain't cooked nothing for that man? Hey man, don't be speaking on Dolph. All right, all right, all right. Let's move on to Doja Cat. In the hood, they calling her a big booty sellout, but people don't know the difference between her, Nicki Minaj, and all these other females in the game. And on top of that, Doja Cat is all natural, but she don't give no credit to the black side of her family because she can't stand y'all. Oh my goodness. She came in the game glorifying Tia and Tamara, but she ain't got no love for Tamika and Tawanda. She talking real bad about black people to her white friends and it's kind of hard to get mad at her because don't nobody know where she come from. She just pop up out the blue talking about Tia and Tamara. She got a pretty face. Ain't got no talent. But she said so though. But, but that ain't got nothing to do with her disrespecting her own people. And like I said, don't nobody know where she came from. But according to these highly classified documentations I received back in the day, when Prince was involved with vanity, oh my goodness. there was a fire and desire. Like Rick James? Yes, like Rick James, bitch. Oh. Now, rumor has it, yeah, Prince and Apolloniums had a baby in all that. And it's a great possibility that the love child between Prince and Apolloniums I thought I told you. is Doja, yeah. She look like she be stank. She probably living like iced tea wife, act like she don't like taking no baths and all that. Y'all gonna have to let me know how y'all feel about this in the comment section, man. Make sure y'all do me a big old favor and hit that like button and subscribe to the channel, yeah? Don't forget to show me some love. Hit that cash app too, dollar sign Sean Blaze Jocks. Let me know how y'all feel about the bougie show. Should we keep this thing going? Well, we gonna keep it going regardless, cause like I said, y'all act like y'all know how to act. Make sure y'all show me some love, and if you haven't subscribed to the channel, yeah. You know you want to, you might as well subscribe. You know you want to, you might as well.
subscribe You know you want to, you might as well subscribe You know you want to, you might as well subscribe You know you want to, you might as well subscribe You know you want to, you might as well subscribe